Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zombie Slayer here and I'm back with another video. This time it's on a quick information guide on the Elgato Game Capture HD 60X. Now I recently just picked this up this morning and I quickly ran into the issue of not being able to get 1440p 120 frame HDR pass through. And I quickly did some research all day and it turns out that this has been like the biggest issue for this capture card right now and that most people are having an issue with. So I finally decided to make this video and then just get the issue done and over with for you guys because it does take some tinkering around with the settings. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your 4K capture um, software from Elgato. And as you can see, you're going to want to go into the device tab. Now, once you go into the device tab, you have to have these settings, guys. Make sure that the audio input is your HDMI audio. Make sure HDMI color range is set to bypass, same as the input. Now, these two are very, very important. Make sure that you change the input IDID mode to internal. That is a huge one. And then also that the regular IDID is on just regular default. You actually don't need a custom key from um, Elgato to be able to do this. You just need to have it on those settings. As you can see right now, it's video input 1440p 120, as well as on my Xbox. And then at the top, you can see that the source is 1440p 120, but recording at 1080 60 frames. Now, what you have to do on the Xbox side of things is go into settings and general TV and display options. Once you get to the screen, guys, you guys need to go to video, fidelity, and overscan. And you have to change these settings to these guys, otherwise it will not work. You need to have it on auto detect, which is already recommended. You need to change your color depth to 36 bits per pixel, which is 12 bit. You need to change that. And then it is very important as well that you have to change the color space to PC RGB if you're using a monitor. For some reason, that's a big, big thing with the color and the pass through. For some reason, once I changed it to that setting, it let me. But as you can see, guys, we're technically still not running HDR. So if you want the 1440p pass through 120 frames with HDR, you're going to have to physically go back. And once this is all set up, as you can see right here, where 120 and 1440p, you need to go back and calibrate HDR for your games. Once you get to the calibration screen, it actually already loaded it up on my Elgato software, and it already changed the input by itself to 4K 60 frame in HDR. Now, I'll do the quick setup for you guys since it won't take too long. Next, I already had it set up previously. And then it looks like it just finished calibrating the image. Click done. Now we're loaded back up. 1440p, 120 hertz. And if you look back on the software, we're now at 1440p, 120 HDR. As well as up here, guys, 1440p, 120 HDR. I hope you guys found this video very helpful and informational. I know that it was bugging the hell out of me all day trying to figure this thing out. I sent emails to Elgato, checked Reddit, all that good stuff. Finally found out what the problem was. I hope I can help you guys. Hopefully you guys can get through this and get some better content out there for your guys' streams. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Zombie Slayer out, guys.